So contests, this is a really, really good way to build up your Instagram account. Um, and this is because contests can go viral over Instagram. Uh, and that makes it very easy for you to get followers. So let's talk about just sort of the setup of your contest and when you should do a contest. The best time to do a contest is when you have about 30 to 40K followers for your first contest. Um, because when you uh, do this, you want to give out a prize, right? And you're going to have to pay money for your prize uh, most of the time. You know, Sometimes you can uh, do a smaller contest and not spend money on your prize. But you are going to pay something for that prize, and you need a base of followers when you do your contest. So if you have only 500 uh, followers on your account and you do a contest, you're not going to get that much reach. If you spend $500 on your uh, contest prize, then you've wasted $500. Um, but when you have 30 to 40K followers, that's when you have a big enough base to uh, get a lot of entries for your contest. And that will seed it out, seed your contest out, and that will help your contest go viral. Um, for the prize, obviously, you want to make it something very relevant to your brand, as relevant as you can make it. Uh, for me, for Amped Asia, uh, let's go back to Amped Asia. One of our contests, we gave out a uh, free subscription. So that's obviously super relevant. Uh, we actually even had a contest where our users could win a date with a porn star. And that one got a, us a lot of attention. So um, it's really important to uh, make your contest prize very relevant to your brand. Uh, if you own a t-shirt brand, you know, give out a uh, five free t-shirts, five of your best selling t-shirts. If you are a makeup brand, you know, give out a uh, one of your flagship products of your makeup brand, so on and so forth. You get the point. Make it a relevant uh, contest prize. You don't want to do, like if, if I was doing a contest for Amped Asia, I don't want to give out a uh, free vacation to um, to like France or something, you know, because that's, you know, every, a lot of people are just going to enter your contest without uh, being relevant to your brand's uh, to your brand's followers. So it's uh, important that you make sure that your prize appeals to your audience. And the last thing is you should try to cross promote your contest with another brand. So for me at Amped Asia, an example I would give you is maybe I would partner up with uh, Maxim Magazine, which is a magazine for uh, for men, right? And we would give out a prize of uh, like a dual subscription to both Amped Asia and Maxim. And that would be a, a prize that would be cross promoted with uh, both brands. And that would help us get double the amount of followers uh, with the promotion. So that's the uh, that's the setup, or of that's the um, intro to the contest. And let's go into more of how to execute. So you want to create a photo uh, slash video that'll help promote your contest. Um, this can be anything. This could be, for example, a picture for me. It, let's say I was trying to give out this uh, issue of the magazine. I would just post, post this picture as a uh, as the contest picture. Basically, it has to be relevant to your contest. And then you want to ask your entrance to post a photo related to the contest. So if I was giving out this magazine, maybe I would ask people to send their best pictures of this girl who's the cover of the magazine um, or their favorite picture of the girl who's on the cover of the magazine. And then you ask them to tag and mention Amped Asia and also your contest hashtag. So well, let me explain this a little bit. When you do send out your contest, you want to tell them that they need to tag your Instagram and mention you in the caption of that picture uh, when they post their photo. And in the photo, you also have to ask them to post a hashtag that's unique to your brand. Okay. So 
this contest hashtag, you must make something that is unique to your contest. That way you can use it to find out who uh, won your contest just by clicking on your contest hashtag. Try to do something, you know, completely new. You know, I can't just do hashtag Amped Asia because there's so many people hashtagging Amped Asia. So I have to do like hashtag Amped Asia um, hottie contest, right? And then that would, uh, whoever tagged that or hashtag that, I would be able to see all the entries and then pick my winner from there. And asking them to tag and mention Amped Asia, that's obviously because you want them to, uh, you want to get their followers. So that's how you um, increase your follower account from there. And also if you're promoting your contest with another brand, you would ask them to uh, tag the other brand as well. So here's an example, right? Hashtag view from a bug. This is the uh, National Geographic contest. Um, so with the National Geographic contest, they their requirements was that you post a picture from above, and that's what happened here, and then hashtag with view from above. I don't know the exact details, so I don't know if the, they also had to mention National Geographic, but I'm assuming that they do because, you know, that helps their uh, their page grow. And this kind of contest attracts the right type of people to your um, brand. So people who hashtag view from above, they're most likely people that are, would be interested in the National Geographic, right? And because of that, this is the perfect contest to grow your Instagram follower count if you were in the National Geographic. So when you promote it, you want to use you know your current audience. Uh, if you were in, uh, in uh, the National Geographic, you would just post it on your uh, Instagram account and say that you're having a new contest and post the instructions for your contest. You would also try to promote it through your your company's mailing list, your other social media, Facebook, Twitter, um, and. That's pretty much what I do for my promotions. Um, I don't do too much else aside from that um, because it's very easy to just do exactly what I just did. And it's uh, very effective. So, And here are some tools. Wishpond.com, Picora.com, Votigo.com. These are all tools that will help you create your contest. I will have to admit that I have not used these. And the reason is because I just made my contest without using any of these. And, you know, it was pretty easy for me to do that. I just created a custom photo. I just created a, uh, a uh, custom instructions. And it was pretty clear for my audience, you know, how to enter my contest without using any of these. But I would suggest you guys to check these out. Um, because maybe for some of you, this would bring a lot of value. And also, I want to say, if you want more examples of good Instagram uh, contests, just search for example Instagram contests on Google, and you'll be able to find a ton of them and to sort of match how you want to set up your contest. And with all that, that's going to help you grow your Instagram account. It's going to get viral traffic to your Instagram account, and that'll help you bring a lot of followers. So... This is a very, very powerful tactic, and it's something that all of you should be using to grow your Instagram accounts.